Well, good afternoon. Front. Oh, no, it's still morning. It's 11.48. How's everybody doing today? I am uh, back here. I actually had my COVID shot um, about two hours ago. And since I've been to the store, get some food, because you know brother got to eat. And have come back in here and started assembling more of these Joe Bardes, Joe Bardes, Joe Bardes, Joe. You know, here's what's funny. I, I sent a message. This is where you realize how old you are. All right, so we've named these Joe Bardes, right? Now, I am old. I, and, and I just realized how old I am because my man who does uh, the music and stuff, Ron Oliver, um, I sent him an email today because... I was working with, um, you old people like me might, might remember, because this is like 1984. There was almost like uh, the breakdancing national anthem called Jam On It. And it was bad. You know, it was like, do, 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 Jam On It. Jam On It. Jam On It. Jam On It. Okay. So I, in my mind, that has been playing in my head. And I wanted to, I, I actually tried this morning. It was actually pretty cool. Because I took the instrumental from it, the do, 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 do. And instead of saying jam on it, I was going on Joe Barty, Joe Barty, Joe Barty, Joe Barty. And then I was going to put a little, you know, because th they have rap on there, okay? Of course, you know, talking about Superman had come to town and swore he won the fight. He blew away every crew he faced until he reached our block. Okay, so I was going to take that and make it the Joe Barty thing. You know, if, uh, I, I was going to put some rap words to it. You know, so that way it's about, you know, I'm Superman and I built the Jabardi trophy and now it's coming to you. And so we play that whenever we do the drawings for it. I thought it was going to be cool. And the problem was I took the instrumental and was remixing it. So it didn't have the words into it, but it got copyrighted, got blocked. So I went to Ron Oliver, my man, I said, hey, how can I get around the copyright on Jam On It? And to my surprise, he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What, what, what song are you talking about? It's like, you don't know Jam On It? Oh, my God. But see, this harkens back to a different age. See, I think about back in my day. You know, you, you think about all the aggression people have right now. You know, that, that people are so ready to fight and all that. And it's not a matter of us not wanting to fight. You know, because we used to call it battling. See, they used to battle breakdancing. You know, that's how you went ahead and beat somebody down. Or, when you beat somebody down, you used this. You didn't come through with a gun and just <laughs> spray everybody. But, you know, that, that's it's a different world. And I guess I realized how old I am because my man didn't know, jam on it, jam on it, jam on it. So, that being said, I need to go to the dump because I got a truck full of trash. Everybody's been riding around. Are you moving? Are you moving? No, it's garbage. Okay. I've been trying to clean up the workshop here so I have more space and stuff uh, to get things done in here and all that. And I got trash from doing spring cleaning and, and all that. And I had a saga yesterday. But anyway, all right. So, news. We were all questioning the Dallas Cowboys about um, Alden Smith. Because we were like, man, you know, the Cowboys, they, they had an opportunity to trade him. They didn't trade him, you know. And then we heard some rumors that, you know, there might be something coming down the pipeline. But then nothing happened for, you know, weeks and months and all that. And then, you know, we hear that he's going to Seattle. And, of course, then we got defensive end envy. You know, it was kind of like, man, you know, why didn't we sign him? Because apparently the Cowboys knew more than what they really let on. They knew that there was this second-degree battery charge. And he has actually turned himself in today to St. Bernard's Parish. I think it was St. Bernard's Parish in Louisiana on those charges where, you know, you'll be arraigned and arraignment basically says, you know, this is a jailable offense and that you should get an attorney and so on uh, to answer these charges. And I dare say that the answering of the charges may not be as much as the reckoning with the NFL because 
He had just gotten back into the NFL because of various off-the-field issues um, from guns, assaults, and um, substance abuse. I had big hopes for Alden Smith, you know, that he was turning himself around, and it seemed like, for the most part, he was being a solid citizen. But, you know, the thing that's crazy is it only takes a few seconds to let that blind rage take you over. Where well, you're, you're at that tipping point where you're on the ledge and you jump off. In retrospect, you jump off the ledge and you realize, I shouldn't have done this shit. But it's too late to change what you did. The thing we all have to realize is, no matter what, escalating an issue is never going to solve a problem. It's not. You know, we hear about all of these different incidents that are going on where people have become unhinged. And, and by the way, um, I saw this movie, Unhinged. Oh my God, Russell Crowe. That movie, that mother humper. When you see that, that movie, Unhinged, um, he's going through a bad divorce. You know, uh, the wife took everything from him. Uh, apparently, she was cheating on him and everything else. And he loses it. He loses it. The movie starts, oh, I'm not going to, I don't want to ruin it. But, but he ends up taking, you know, getting, offering her in the beginning of the movie. And he's still unhinged where, you know, normal stuff that happens just continues to set him off. And I guess in some regards, you can see how somebody could be blinded by rage. But you have to learn to live to fight another day. That when you're sitting there in traffic and somebody does some stupid shit, let them go. Let them go. Ain't no point in you trying to escalate it. That, you know, somebody says something to you, walk away. It's not worth it. Because in the end, for the person who escalates, what did it solve? You know, the guy with Aaron Donald. Threw a bottle at him. You got your ass kicked. And now probably will face some charges your damn self. One of these people that go crazy and shoot up, you know, everything. Did that fix the problem? No. Now you're locked up or dead. And the problem's still there. So we as people have to figure out a way to de-escalate because now because whatever happened I don't know if somebody incited him somebody you know did something you know it doesn't matter the reason the result is the problem so I hope uh, Alden Smith can get himself together and and work out everything that he's got going on because I have hope for people I have hope for everybody I don't want to see anybody doing bad except maybe those eagles those Eagles, I want to see doing bad, but not locked up bad. I just want to see them doing bad on the field. I, you know, I, it's, it's 17 and 0. That, that, I want the Eagles to be the first team to go 17 and 0. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, and 17. Damn. 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 Oh, and 17. I want to see them do bad. All right, y'all. Let me go to the dump. And I'll see you later. I may do, uh, I've been doing working on the studio. I may do a live stream later for channel members um, to uh, just kind of, you know, you know, just check out uh, the system and make sure we got all the bugs out of it because I did some changes and some different wiring. And we know I jacked some stuff up. Right, Mike? Right. Oh, yeah, like Monday. Yeah, but that wasn't. But that, your, but that wasn't your fault. It's just that you, I'll take the blame for it. It wasn't really your fault. It's just that you know. If somebody has to be the fall guy or the bad guy, I'm okay with that. All right, and as you can see, bam. Yep. Ain't got no pain there. I feel good. Peace.